Morning guys, we are on Micah chapter 5, reading from verse 1 to 3. Um, amazing scriptures that cover a huge period of time, give us a, a glimpse from the destruction of Jerusalem, them being taken taken away. Um, in Genesis it talks about for the sins of Manasseh, for turning away from God, and then straight away into verse 2, the first coming of um, the Messiah, the first coming of Jesus, first advent of Christ, and then straight away after that second advent of Christ. So we've got um, a quick, brief view of history in just one or two, three verses. But let's just read it, verse 1. Now must yourselves and troops, daughters of, daughter of troops, they've laid siege against us. With a rod they will smite the judge of Israel on the cheek. And Israel's been divided. Um, this could refer to Hezekiah. Uh, smite on the judge is a proverbial sort of saying that he's going to be dealt with. Um, he had to watch his, his relatives be killed in front of him and then his eyes were um, gouged out. It may have a reference to that. Um, but he's taken into captive. And um, must yourselves... Yeah, they have laid siege, and so Babylon may laid laid siege to to Jerusalem. Verse two. But as for you, so we jump in quickly now. Bethlehem, Ephrath, Ephrathah. That's another name for Bethlehem. Too little to be among the clans of Judah. Small and significant town. What do we know about this town? From you, one will go forth for me to be the ruler in Israel. So who is this ruler? In Israel that is coming from Jerusalem I mean it's coming from Bethlehem his going forths are from long ago from the days of eternity so who's from the days of eternity not a man because he is we're talking about someone who's eternal um, and this is referring to Jesus obviously and we know um, from the New Testament um, John seven forty two says has not the scripture said that the Christ comes from, a dis from the descendants of David, and David also born in, in Bethlehem, um, Davidical covenant, and the Christ will come through a king, and just like David is born in Bethlehem, which means the house of bread, um, and Christ is the bread of life. And so we know that Christ was born in the same house as David, um, the village, it says in verse 42 of John 7, the village where David was. And so amazing prophecy um, of the exact town that Jesus will be born um, in Genesis 35 verse 19. It says, so Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephrath, that is Bethlehem. And so this, that's, when it says Bethlehem, Ephrath, Ephrath is the same town, but Ephrath um, more means sort of, of vineyards and olive orchards. And so fruitful, um, Bethlehem, the bread, the house of bread, Ephrath, olive, <coughs> fruit, vine, that's where um, the, the blessings will come from that town. Verse 3 of Micah 1. For behold, the Lord is coming forth from his place. He'll come down and tread on the high places of earth. And that's the second coming. He comes down, he treads, he rules. This time um, with an iron rod. And he takes back in one sense his kingdom. And so verse 1. Um, the kingdom sort of lost. Verse 2. First coming of Jesus. Verse 3. The second coming. Um, verse 2 referring to eternal God it is fully God Jesus um, verse 3 born of a man fully man um, so so many powerful references so many um, treasures in these verses but uh, trust that you have a wonderful day God bless